several things were exposed in this episode, including Tommy's competition and Scrap's baby mama, Mimi's latest relationship with a girl, and public hairs flying around. But how did it all start, and when exactly did things go left and turn outrageous? I'm a mom all day, every day. Not that it's any of your business. You do this all the time? Like you meet girls and you come and hang out? It's time for this chick to face some truth. Why y'all beefing? Ain't no beef! Tommy is calling out Tierra faster than Tierra can even respond. And then she went in for the kill. You sound crazy, bitch. Calm down. Calm, calm, down, calm, down, calm down, honey. Calm down. Let me tell you something don't about Tommy. What, what about Let me Tommy? tell you something about, about Tommy. Tommy. Oh, get her the f out of Chris and I are having a great time at this party. All of a sudden, I see these two women rolling around. It was messy, first of all. She should at least wore some panties. I saw vagina hairs flying and pubic hairs flying. This was a really big night for Chris and I, and it was completely ruined by two hood rats. Spice hosted a blue themed brunch party, and everyone was present at the event. Now, Spice planned that the event would go smoothly without any hiccups, but her plans were merely thoughts because Erica, Mina, and Bambi decided to pull a stunt, as they do. Erica confronted Carly Red and Mita on a relationship with her ex husband. Bye. being humble still because Carly was acting like she was nominated yesterday. Oh. So she was like, I think because she knew, she knows she owes me an explanation. You should tell me and give me Not a Not sperm up. donor. Erica, I've been stuck this. Look, yeah, I understand. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, officially. Damn, bitch, you have me as everybody. Man, my feelings is correct. This girl, I had no time to do it. I was giving so much. He, why wouldn't you give me the heads up that you even invited? Right. I didn't think he was coming. No, so I'm not ganging up on you. We can talk one-on-one. -on -one. No, I'm definitely not ganging up on you. You know what? I know he wants to be with you. And I figured, okay, you know what? Me inviting him to Vegas. But wasn't at a bedside of a woman that's carrying his first son. I was rubbing safari down yesterday. I felt triggered and irritated. I'm talking. I just I'm talking. I'm talking to my friend. Okay. Well, I mean, it wasn't necessary. Nothing against you. Do you I don't, do what you're not gonna no, do no. though is disrespect me or my friends. But you only know one side of it. You don't know the other side. That Jack was territory. Never, never. With Jack that's your business married. again. I don't got nothing with him, and that's all I wanted to say. That, that's all I wanted he to has, say. He has three of them. He wrote. Okay. Well, oh, they perceived me the wrong way, and then you're like, oh, I'm not one of the women that he's walking down the street with. Who, Miss Chicana? I'm not one of them, Chicana. I'm not one of them. You trashy. No, bitch, you trashy. You talk about Talk about class. Safari attended an event after his divorce with Erica Mina with a new girl, but there was a little bitty problem, right? The event was hosted by Shakina, and she was not going to accept that Safari walked into her event with another chick on his arm, and the lady somehow looked just like his ex-wife. Looking like Safari be cruising for a bruising. But that's not Erica. Look like her, right? What the Take over five seconds. You know that girl. I can't really support you. I don't want to cry, but I'm here for you. How are you? This is wrong. Erica would kill me. OK. That's fine. I want to be in it, Jim and I. Hey, guess what? Nah, me, me. I'm scared okay. of my life. <laughs> You're beautiful. Maybe because we're the same nationality. Did you see the ass on that Yo, that's Erica's twin sister. <laughs> I am crying. When Jock showed up with Kendra at Carly's engagement party, Carly mentioned that she was happy for her ex Jock and that they were family already. But it was only a fantasy, because in this clip, she revealed that she was no fan of Kendra. Kendra also did not back down. Jock, Kendra. Now, I saw y'all getting into it with Carly earlier. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me go get her ass so we can get this all squared away. Just like every other couple, I'm sure Jock and Kendra have their issues. Part of the problem is Carly and this information she decided she wanted to volunteer. And since this is about communication, Carly should be here to clear up the she was saying about Jock and Kendra. Don't go through We all gonna have issues. At the end of the day, that's all a part of it. I know, but I just, I just rather go through stuff with my mate without somebody creating that drama. You know what I'm saying? True. I, I rather just... Don't bring my name up and don't bring you my up in it. You miserable as oh. oh, 
no, bitch. If I'm not deaf so enough, like, you You're a messy. said timeline. Yeah. And you, you asked a question. You was like, you and where's Shekana? We was all in the car, and I asked him what we've been together. You said four years. I said, well, Carla, how long y'all with you? I said almost five. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to play no childish game with nobody in this room. I don't have to. Especially you know, people say me. name drop. What, what, what? Chill. Especially not me. Yeah. Stop. I don't have to name. Stop people from in between us. OK. Yeah. Let's on some real <laughs> Real Hey, bitch. Jump yeah, up. I didn't Let's go. Stop. 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 Trick you? Period. Quit talking like you ain't got no sense. You got a big ass vocabulary. That ain't begin to start when you start. Why are you depressed? And what the f you got going on? Mm -hmm. Hey man, I could be good. For you. I'm good. I don't give a f whichever way. Wait, Jock, Jock. Yeah, come on, y'all. Come on, Jock. Come on, Jock. Y'all let me know why I'm not in a relationship again. Thank y'all. Sierra and Keely were out for dinner with some of the other ladies. Now, during their discussion, Sierra and Keely got in a war of words until someone felt words had no impact compared to action. What? What? Like, what? What? Does Tobias have anything what? to do with you, you all said you said that was your brother? What's up? Oh, 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 Look at her. Ain't she you beautiful? Have. Thank you. Real bitches is in the building. I know. Ray J heard a rumor that involved two of his friends and decided to stage an intervention. But the situation at hand was not something that could be discussed and settled over dinner because the streets had it. The Safari and Lyrica had an intimate moment together, y'all. Now, A1, the bro steak sauce, was mad at the news and launched at Safari, who only tried to apologize. I tell you before I happen that um, I told Safari to come along. They invited us out. We're supposed to have a good time, and now, like, it looks like. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. What's up, little one? She's late, but y'all look good, though, so it's cool. I've been going through some things, had to get rid of one of his hoes, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna tell y'all too. Hold on, bro. Oh. Well, first of all, me and her back. We're having a baby. Everybody, penises, vaginas, and babies, yeah. Okay. Look, we, we used to be the three amigos. Yeah. We friends. So go on and, and just gotta let them know what you told me, fam. What did you say, fam? I'm listening. Not saying nothing. Lyrica, hey girl, you need to get back in here. You should chill, girl. Like, get some water. This has become a quite the uncomfortable space. No, oh, what the f is going on? I'm not gonna do this to day. What the f is going on? I don't know what's going on in y'all relationship or whatever y'all all got going on, but leave me out of it. I'm still your brother, okay? Akbar had beef with Spice and also bad blood ran between her and Tokyo. Now, Sierra called them all to squash whatever misunderstanding they had, but Akbar was not willing to let anything go. Therefore, nothing went as planned, and Sierra could not ensure peace between her friends. Come on, you agreed to be in your best behavior today. I want y'all to be on one accord. I'm not with all that passive aggressive. Like, if we beef it, come on, it's up. All balls and stuff on how I treated her friends, Tokyo and Spice, they didn't talk to me, take off even. So basically, if both of y'all gonna be around me the other night and your performance, girl, I got a lot going on in life, you know, with my kids. We came from the same era, like, you came from my struggle. So I can't never forget that. So to see both of y'all together, you know, we, we not friends. Spicy, you made it. 
I see you like call meetings. <laughs> oh, Lord, here we go. She want to be the principal so bad. This meeting today was to get everybody on one accord. You never grew here. You flew here, and I flew here. OK, so did you fly Delta? I do fly Delta. Oh, but every okay. time I fly, it's so, always first class, you. though. And that's fine. Bitch, I be, I'm in between black and white. But she always take her shoes off. Uh, well, I'm going to just be honest. I'm so disappointed and into it with each other. Like, haven't she had enough? We did this in the hood. Let me get baby girl together. Rude girl. You don't want to smoke with me, mommy, okay? I'm mocking my face. I don't like Wait, 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 you don't want no smoke with me, man. Come to that yellow man. I want to that yellow man. Remy's known to be one of the most unique characters on the show. Now she's mostly in a fight, always winning. Meanwhile, this class was different. See, she brought Ra Ali and Yandy together to plan her wedding. All right, so Remy was at a gym, and y'all, you can only guess what the hell that symbolized. But only fierce words were exchanged between Yandy and Ra Ali, while Remy could only watch. You. I'm hoping to smooth things out with Ra, and then we could get back on track. Why didn't plan the day is seriously making me physically sick. Mm -hmm. Since. Since what? Since that disastrous fashion show. I was hoping she would say that. I could use her help. I found the dress. They called and they said that it's gonna take them. The pressure. This. From a bitch that went and left me to now putting the biggest burden. I have a problem saying I'm past. So I asked Yenzi to help me with the um, wedding as well. Anyway, you just still been working on my wedding when we have this conversation right now. You Even can though you might not have liked anything, but. Ready? See you. Asking Yandy to help you plan your wedding, having her make a surprise pop up on me is a whole nother situation. I don't know what's wrong with Ra, but her face was extremely screwed up. I have a list for you, and I have a list for you. Okay. I know there's no possible way I could do this by myself. I need a dress. I need flowers. Not a lot of flowers. This much flowers. Lots of sparkles and lots of fun. I've always claimed your wedding as mine, too. We have just started hanging out 2.5 seconds ago. Scrappy and his mamsy had something to discuss about their relationship. Now, you could tell that Scrappy wanted to keep the matter under wraps, but Mama D and her son could not keep the discussion quiet, and it blew out into a war of words, and other cast members tried to intervene. Y'all got to be careful, though, man. Mama D going to eat you like you a nugget. Hey, Mama D. You know, from the other night, I just want to congratulate you. Thank like, you. I did it. Hey, baby. <laughs> she went down with something. I know. <laughs> we wait for you. Get some free marital counseling. So I decided to pull him aside because it's about our relationship as mother and son. Oh, my mother hurt me every day. I don't. You know what I'm saying? You when you when you speak when you speak lies. Oh. You always been a gratefulist kid and told you I. Appreciate you were grateful it. until exactly. a year ago. Oh, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I grew up for real hard. I'm, saying, I'm not gonna ever try to mm. manipulate no situations to f my kids. I talk, I talk with respect. I'm no, saying all this with respect. Did, 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 did. I respect in me as a man because she's yes, telling me, you can't talk like, you can't say that. Who you? He told me, f you. That's disrespectful. I never because told you. I just ain't, I ain't gonna yeah. sit down, down. You hide, yo. You talking about hiding, right? I hide, no, you I I'm pretend, I'll live yes, on my knees. Yes, you do that, mama. Hey. You a weird mama, you a weird mama, cuz. You a weird, cuz I know I'm weird. Cause I got it from you, I got it from you. Hey, what happens? I don't do that to you. I don't tell your mother hey. business. Hey. I don't go out in the street and tell you who tell me. You should be able to tell nobody what he say. You, you, yo, yo, hey, man. Hold on, you a hurt. Hold on, 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 I'm your child. Me. No son is hurt. That's your son. 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 That's your son
It was at King Michelle's birthday party that Mimi knew her man, Stevie J, was cheating on her with Jocelyn Hernandez. Now, Carly Red told Mimi Foss the gist, and Stevie J miraculously showed up with his babe. Despite Mimi's reserved nature, things did not go very smoothly. Stevie J and Jocelyn Hernandez eventually fought each other, too. Man, it was a throwdown. Like it's your birthday. We gonna party. And we just gonna have a good time. Okay, first of all, that's my girl. No, it's not. That would be my man. No, it's not. That's her man. Them two together, it's like so he some was like inseparable two? type of It's like two? some Stevie's got me all up. Girl, I'm gonna go <laughs> out of here. You know Honey, I am out of here. Mimi started looking at me with those eyes you can know when when when, when you done f***ed up. I would never put you in that position. Never. I'm gonna f*** you up at the end. And they gonna be chilling. But you gonna be looking stupid. Wow. I don't think Carly should have came at Mimi like that. You gotta listen right. to me. Just give me I two. Just give me your head off your shoulders right now. I didn't kiss her. What did you do? I didn't. She getting the kick out of it. She getting the kick out of it. What happened? She saw them kissing. Yo. Give me this person. Let's go. Drink at me and messed up my fur that I got from Nemes. I could have killed him. Oh, but don't worry. He's gonna buy me a new one. Oh, work? For real? Wait a minute, man, hold on. During a reunion program, Nina Parker, the host, asked Remy Ma why she chose Ra Ali alongside Yandy to help out with her wedding. While everything started out quietly, it immediately blew up with Ra Ali yelling, cussing, and making fun of Yandy, who also gave some pretty fire clapbacks. With Yandy, is fairly new. Uh, is there a reason why you specifically asked her for help with the wedding? Do you think because of that situation, the retaliation of Petty was to... Her, yes! Uh, she knows that. <laughs> How do you feel if that's true? She knew. You don't have to tell me what I know and what I, know I don't what you know. know, boo boo. Beef with or there's someone to be at BFF with? When they had a fallout, my wife had a little bit more time on her hands. So it was more of a perfect time and opportunity. But, Yandy, it do be certain things where you be like... There's something more that we're not seeing yes! that is behind... Yes! What's why would that? <laughs> Andy throws stones and hides her hands. Is that what you're saying? There you go. You said it's so classy. She just can't take me. And that's just it. Sometimes you just can't take me. She practices that line. Vaccination shots for everyone. Wait. Because listen. CT. So CT. Can't can can I say something? Can going I say something? I just wanted to say that I will vouch for Ra and say that during the time that I was working with her on projects, Ra will be that one she to come and be like... Shoes. Mimi was ready to help Pooh and Carly Red settle their differences. So when the ladies were out in Trinidad, Mimi brought out Pooh to their brunch party. Now, Carly was disappointed at first, and as soon as both Carly and Pooh started to exchange words, things got out of control. I mean, but what you expect with Carly, right? <laughs> Look on their face. Hi, Chicago. I invited Pooh because, because you guys have been friends for way too long, and I just at least wanted to see if you guys could clear the air. I don't even know what we arguing about, to be honest. Like, the is so silly and so petty to me, and we done been through so much entwining. Pooh, I need you to confess that you lied that I ever slept with you and your husband, or you and your husband, and you and your uh, whatever. If you confess that, I'm good. We can move past. You know, the confession, it is what it is. But you need to confess that I never, ever, because you know I never did. Whatever would make you sleep good at night, Carl. No, whatever, whatever would make you whatever. sleep good. No, no, see? Okay. This is what I'm talking about. I said talk okay, the truth. Okay, well, we, but wait, we should do that. Truth. We want the truth. Your issue with Cardi. She said, yes. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> she did not like oh no. my John, you know what I'm saying. No, oh, what? Uh, Ain't no really no the way you that and the so close to get No, 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 no. Not like that. You see what I'm saying? Me and Boo never did nothing. So all of this, this whole discussion is about alleged sexual encounters. 
that may or may not happen. I hug the her in the This is what this is about, y'all. This is a gift from me to you. I bought you some diapers for that loose ass yeah. bottle. Oh, my God. 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 O
Cisco and Peter Gunn's nearly traded blows in this clip, and it all involved a petty business development that put the Creep Squad in shambles. Now, why would Mariah go behind my back and work with Sammy Sausagehead? Kicking Cisco out of the radio station the other night, then scare him away from coming to this event tonight. What up, man? Whoa! Bless with What's your up? presence. What's up, brother? How you doing, nah. man? I guess DJ Self decided to lead a bitch at the station to come see me and be a man. Rich telling me that you trying to sign Mariah, you supposed to be my man. My dealings with somebody else, that's crossing the line. I got a situation for her that's beneficial, and you know I'm gonna cut you in on that because you started her career off. Just how you can't even get in the radio station without me, right? So you tell people that I can't get in the radio station that you work at. Why would you go and tell somebody else a business between me and you. Of everything I went through last year, and like, Why don't you say the truth that that contract was whack? Call me what it is, Mariah. Damn, Cisco, we just got cool, and already you're putting words in my mouth? So you know what? If you want to go sign a slave deal, then you do that. It's called negotiation. Then you know what? Then you go sign to him. He broke my first record ever on the radio. And she's doing a great job checking Bisco, and that definitely shows where her loyalty lies. Listen, I came to see you and show you some support. And, and I love. appreciate that. I told you as a friend. You been a good friend to me? Y'all all funny. You know why? Uh, you ain't you know, in the creep squad no more. You kicking me out of the creep squad. You can't kick me out of a club that I created. Self has never been and will never be a part of the creep squad. You X'd out. I'm the new leader. But that wasn't even the first time Cisco was kicked out of the Creep Squad. And in this clip, it was DJ Self who had to make the huge decision and kick Cisco out. Yo, but Cisco wouldn't go down without a fight. You know what I'm saying? Because of course, the money's 18 now. I would like for her um, just to be able to have a relationship with her sister. The door's always open. I have a new house. She still has her same bedroom furniture. Always been welcome to come over and visit her siblings. Not an issue. It is an issue. If we gonna talk, we gonna have a real conversation. Let's, let's do it. And we gonna keep it all the way Absolutely. real. Absolutely. Okay? My child has not been over there. Yes, she has. Of I you. can. What did you say? When you're not yeah. there. So she's went when you're not there, exactly. Bambi, because you've mistreated her. No, 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 no. Do no, 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 no. you know why? Do you know why I have do. an issue with you? See? Because Erica trying to accuse me of mistreating her daughter was the final straw for me. I'm like, you want to accuse me of mistreating a child? And I, we gonna start with the lies? That, no, this is this is we gonna start with lies. No, no, no. I never told you nothing like that. See, y'all two raggedy asses had me investigate and get you sent the police. Our house. When I had to actually go to Scrappy's house to get him money, my lawyer told me to get a police escort because it was just so much. Scrappy tried to use the police report to get full custody of Imani, knowing good and well that I wasn't abusing. You a bitch. That's, okay. that's what you That's are. Yeah, that is my like, you want that? You're I mad. Erica, he proposed to me first. He, he wanted did. to be with me. He so wanted to. Just, what do you want to do? When I see you in the streets, you wanna wear up? I'll be right the fuck up. I ain't gonna get no, no, no. Where's she? I'ma be cold. This raggedy ass bitch is sitting here, mother. Hand on my face. You ain't gonna do shit, mama. I'm gonna be your baby. You know what I'm saying? Talking so much. Stop! 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 This girl's gonna be mad at me forever. The battle of Scrappy's exes would always go down as one of the most intense thrown out moments in the history of the show, and it was between Bambi and Erica Dixon. This was a discussion about their kids, and you can guess who was at fault on this one. I'm livid, not just with Scrap, but with this middle-aged thot named Carly Red standing right in front of me. I heard you got a tape in the night, so I'm rolling up on this bitch. How you doing, bitch? Right now is the receipt I found with your name on it in Scrap's car. Damn, I, I know I have receipts. I own a lot of receipts. You're a 40-year-old Listen here, Dennis Rodman looking at us, okay? Paper. You're a one you away. You know what I'm He don't f with you, he never f with you, and he not even claiming you. You're not even a f you example. You know out of my place. Yeah, you was Scrap, bitch. That oh. old enough to be your f daughter. Dad, I got Stevie f on my f and I'm going to the studio with him. You've never been in the studio with Stevie. You want to know why? I'm going to motherfucking hit records with him. But that's Scrap's uncle. His name is Stevie But that's Scrap's uncle. Doesn't matter, bitch. Me, go bitch. His I'm nephew. at work, bitch. Go I'm at go work. His All you hoes don't understand what the f time. You can't try to be a cunt. That fake what? That fake what? That fake what? Bitch. Yeah, no. Get to no. know me, bitch. I'll whoop my motherfucking ass. Y'all better kill. In season 5 episode 9 of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Tommy heard that Carly Red was having an affair with her man, Scrap, and she decided to confront Carly about it. In this clip, she popped in unannounced on Carly at the Playboy radio station. What's I'm sick of you, ho. What, what, what this bitch doing in here? Whatever, what? What's up, baby? What's good? 
Why you and your man having a conversation about me in your bed while y'all... He told you while y'all was in bed that he had sex with you. This no, is what you told he me. He said he used to see. He saw so see you weren't doing this the day that I asked her the question. Right, okay. Bitch, because I have to go home and think about yeah, what yeah, question yeah. that you asked me. You're because you're not when you first you know saw me. You know why? Because you're the lady. Finish this conversation already. Why is my man talking about me Bitch, you? I don't know, because I'm a bad bitch. Okay, that's why. Can I tell you something? You're messy. No, you're messy. Bitch, you want? What you doing? What you doing on? In Atlanta season two, episode five, Carly spread rumors that Jocelyn Hernandez hooked up with her ex Benzino. When Jocelyn would meet Stevie J and Carly, she confronted Carly about the rumors she was spreading, and then the throwdown. That's that pit, boy. That pit, boy. Man, I'm not too like proud of because you didn't get to see what really, really happened. How your boy get to throw them things and them. This one on right here, Jack. A big scene. One of your favorites. After Stevie J introduces himself very rudely and calls me a bitch, I heard through the grapevine that that little fella is at the studio tonight. And I can't wait to see what happens. Oh. Me, the bitch. Wow. <laughs> What's yep. up, ma? How are you? What's up? I ain't nothing, anything gravy. Mm -hmm. You know this was my baby mama? Cause I don't know you. Mm -hmm. on, on, on everything, I don't know you. It was on some BH1 type stuff, you know what I'm saying, with Eve. You know what I'm saying? That's all I knew. She was acting, I was like, oh, homie a clown. Man. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't really no homie, you know what I'm saying? So. I had to handle your business, so at the end of the day, like, I take that shit to disrespect, you feel me? I take it disrespect. Two of them. I got like five of them. Damn, I ain't know that, man. If I cut your bitch out right now, if wait, I cut your bitch out, oh. I don't even know her. <laughs> I ain't even know who she was. I like the fuck. So what's the problem? Who are you? I'm Jocelyn Hernandez. Who are you? Baby. Oh. So who is you? I was confused right there at that moment. I'm sitting there looking like what? Like my grill questioning me. I know they smell each other's breath too. See, this what happened. I ain't even know what was going on. I was slit drunk. He was trying to keep me from getting into the girl fight, which I wasn't going to get into the girl fight. Stevie was strong then, bro, like. Yeah, I had to tag, cuz. That's my homie now. Yeah, that was that was a good one. I got that Benzino that night, too. Man, I ain't got no toleration for no bull Homegirl keep on popping off, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, Jocelyn was tagging the out of my head. Y'all better go to New York with that Believe that. I ain't even know what she used to be saying. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Crappy, you can kiss my ass. You call me a bitch, but your girl <laughs> my man. I'm not scared of you. Bring it on. <laughs> That's really crazy, bro. You know none of these people. You know what I'm saying? I was slick there just to holler at Stevie and whoever he was. I was there to talk to him. I was like, bro, look. I was talking over her, like, hey, whatever. Ooh. I had got to Stevie after we got out the bushes, and, and like, I started swinging on homie. I don't know if I was taking off on her, me and him were just tussling, but she kept coming around, and I'm talking about jostling, like, man, I was like, who taking off on me? They kept taking, bow. I was like, oh, hold on. You feel me? Not that I wanted that to happen that night. I just really sincerely wanted to have a conversation with Stevie. You know, not only when somebody does that, is disrespectful to if you the man behind the baby, you know what I'm saying? Then you you don't want that taking place because then they feel like they can disrespect you. In this from behind the music to face to face clip, Scrappy reacts to the very first time he had a throwdown with Stevie J, and he also gave T on the meetup and where they both stood currently. A girl named Mita, Mita supposedly like spices, friend, a pre wedding that she been a jock. Uh, I was a bachelor, engaged to be married. Then let's address that first. So was you feed her? Hi, honey. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Do you care if I? No, I don't care. Like, I want to know what going on. I'm in the dark. A while back, right after me and we had the baby, mm -hmm. Jock had a game night. Mm -hmm. Mita was there. I got her number, call her. Wait, 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 wait. We need to pipe down for a second. We need to figure out how to do it. No, 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 no. Me and Mita was business, right? Now I just want to know. What the f? And 
Erica meaning what? Sarah. But yes, you know what? came out as spicy dinner, and she was like, I've been messing with him 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. Not true. Oh, what? Kill Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, Sarah. You lied to your mama, your daddy, your children. Why did you marry me? Jocelyn, I need some answers is what I need. I'm not even here. When I told you, I Yeah, we had this conversation, but you know she stood up at Spice's birthday party and said that she was with you. So was you with, you been with her in 15? Hold on, FaceTimer. I'm a FaceTimer. Let me talk, oh, okay. Hey, Mita, this Kendra. I'm Jocelyn's wife, I'm Jock wife. Somebody just told me y'all been f***ing around since 2016. Um, the last time that I f***ed with Jock was 2018. Hmm. We together, what you mean? And f***ing have sex, where? That was years ago. No. Maybe a year or two before that. Oh, did he just I'm about to see, I'm about to see. No, girl. <laughs> no. Like, any time in 2017, you can f*** two-piece, Jocelyn. Period. Like, period. Everybody was interested in Jock and Mita's story, and after the news was broken by Kendra, by Erica, and Bambi, Kendra decided to confront Jock, and it didn't end how anyone would have expected. Bambi, have you spoken to Erica? I have spoken to her. Like, she's been working a lot. I'm, I'm so interested to know what she said to you about that whole situation. We didn't really go into oh. it that much. I just cannot take a lot of bull****. I know damn well that Erica went straight to Bambi. These girls are so... Lie. How come you haven't talked to your best friend? Oh, I have talked to her, but not to you. Can't be at a table with her doing the two face thing and saying, Oh, I haven't spoken to Erica. Why does it matter? When I told you straight to your face, I'm so sorry, I never said or started. If y'all always are trying to find a reason for blame somebody but on a What Erica did was wrong. The stuff she was saying, I told Bambi she was dead ass wrong. I'm not, I'm a black woman. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Man, everybody knows Bambi as the most untruthful personality in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and when they were at the Bahamas, Spice called her out and the whole situation blew up. Hi. Hi. You guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. Woo, that's right. Get that. You ain't nothing but a mother prostitute, bitch. Get this bitch out of here. That bitch is going down. In season three of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Erica Dixon showed that she could defend herself at any given time, whether she had support or not. In this clip, despite Althea moving crazy, Erica stood up to her. But something that would blow your mind happened while it was filmed. Erica Dixon proved to be a true friend of Carly's. Why would I have a reason to size you up? I don't I want them. Yeah, well, and I, I don't need them. Are we being nice or what, what, what are we doing here? I'm being real. <laughs> we're at Rashida's house. We're not going to do that here. So, not at all. You were saying stuff. Because if I pop, I can rock. If you could pop, you could rock. I'm trying yeah. to be nice. But that's a dead that. But for real. Saying, but wait, first of all, you the ex, and you came over to our party. You understand what I'm saying? It don't matter. And we're gonna leave because I'm listen, listen, from let me tell you that. I'm leaving. You. I got this ring on my finger, ho. I'm gonna keep it classy for my girl Rashida because we are at her party. Even the doctor was shocked when Jocelyn showed up. But what really showed that Stevie went too far in this one was his passive aggressive attitude towards Mimi. And it was also remarkable to note that Mimi was calm throughout the entire therapy session, while Stevie, towards the end, had to persevere from Jocelyn's aggression. I would love for my family to work out, but I got this gut feeling this dude is still up to no good. There's still another... Hey, look at that bitch like he's still popping his head like that. My artist. Your artist. My friend. She's your business partner. Hey. She's my business partner, too. So we're all business partners. Yeah. For me to feel comfortable with this situation. Take a look under your shoe. I think you just stepped into some stuff yeah. again, Steve. This, you realize this thing about business. Hello. Hi. Y'all done brought Jocelyn in. Look at Mimi's face. Look at Mimi's face. Okay. I don't want to talk to y'all. Like, I feel like it should have been her, Stevie and Mimi, not Jocelyn. What the f am I doing this? We spent a lot of time together, like literally three months together straight. I wasn't really paying any mind to. Thank you, baby. Are you serious? What the? hell was that? Like wiping the sweat off of the top of her nose in front of the woman. What the hell was that? 
I ain't seen nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so, why did you get it? You're trying to continue on the relationship with her. Awesome. You guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. Ooh, that's right. Due to copyright laws, the fight between Stevie J and Scrappy in the parking lot will not be aired because it's one private example of going too far in the history because both men dragged themselves through dirt, asphalt, and grass. And the women who were also present with each man had their own bout too. After Stevie J introduces himself very rudely and calls me a bitch. That's him right now. It's me, the bitch. Oh. I ain't nothing, anything gravy. Mm -hmm. you know, so I've been, I've been looking for you. I wanted to have a word with you. You know, out of order, I was drinking and all that. You know, so if I called you, a I want to apologize. Notice that I used the term baby, baby mama. mama, not my girl. I don't know you. I mean, I see you grown, man. You feel me? You know how to handle your business. So at the end of the day, like I take disrespect. The disrespect was just cause you got a baby mama. You I got feel two me? of them. I got like five. Of them. I even know him enough to, for him even to come out his tongue like that. You disrespect your chick. If I cut your wait, out right now, if wait, I cut wait, your wait, out wait, like that. Wait, wait, What's the partner? She no, I'm just back, saying, babe, if I cut your out, you feel me? I say, you feel me? I was like, hold on, whoa. I was like, hold on, whoa. In before you knew him, before anything, so what's the problem? Are you Jocelyn Hernandez, Who are you? baby. Who? Oh, no, Jocelyn oh, Hernandez. Oh, irrelevant. You were nobody. Why? Why? So why? So what? Why? 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 So why? So why? 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 What are you trying to get at? No, we didn't. Bitch. Bitch. They questioning me about whether or not I slept with Stevie J. Next thing I know, all hell breaks loose. Yo, Princess called for it, and she got exactly what she called for. Despite Ray J trying his best to calm her down and stop her from hurling food and drinks at him, her fieriness could not be tamed, and it got her into the bottom of a pool close to where they were having dinner. I'm a little surprise because I know we haven't been like on the same page. I consider Morgan as family. Morgan's foul. F that. Maybe it's just time for me and you to just separate. Stop. Stop. You know what? You're a bitch. Stop. Bye. <laughs> I'm a okay, so when Erica and Carly Red met Althea at Benzino's club, Althea could not hide her disgust for Carly and launch straight at her. Benzino thought it was not the right time for Althea to cause trouble, especially with his ex Carly Red at the opening of his new venture, and surprisingly got mad at Carly Red to the point of kicking her out of his club. He don't miss you, baby. It's a wrap. It's over. Let that bitch know that I'm crazy. to start some <laughs> at least Zeno had enough sense to kick her ass to the curb. I feel sorry for you. When Jack get a hold of your ass, I feel sorry for you. She's definitely messing with the wrong chick. And no neck Benzino too. Ghetto ass function. Nobody want to come to this ghetto ass function. The fight between Jessica Dime versus Jocelyn and Dawn would never be forgotten in the history of the show, simply because wherever Jocelyn is and trouble brews up, it's always going to spill and attract the attention of the show security. Lord, these girls got no class. Meanwhile, I see Shanelica up there watching like it's a spectator sport. What's see? up, Hernandez? What's up? Shanelica, you happy to be around my husband? You're not married, though. This is a sexy party. Let's keep it Why sexy, you so angry? Yo. You the same bitch that told me they were married. Shut the up. No, you shut, shut the up. She's a fool. Bitch, you been trying to bug me. You a fraud, you been in jail. Look at you. You shut the up. I thought this was gonna be sexy. Oh, no, you blame it on me because the bitch you invited? I just wish they wasn't busting up my grown and sexy part. What the bitch wanna do? I swear to God, I'm gonna be busting you home. I tripping, man. Do y'all hear the mother see me? Let me go. I wanna go in the pool and I wanna have me a great time. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. One question that still hangs in the air without any answer is the question of why and what Zell Swag sees in Mr. Ray that he tries to bully him every time. I ain't sure they had their differences in the past, but while Mr. Ray seemed to have forgotten, Zell Swag's resentment for him runs deeper than expected. Hey, y'all. Hello. Mwah. Mwah. So, babe, 
thank you both, Jimin, for coming tonight. There will be no leaping and bounding. We already had this talk. You can tell me what the real problem is. I don't really care. Like, only thing I care about is getting money and looking like this. I felt like if you were their L.A. gay husband while I was gone, and I was going to I have this, and I've been meaning to bring it up. I haven't seen it's any a of girls about it. Probably want to suck my dick. Why would he want to suck your dick, though, when you're hitting him up? How much are you paying him? Paying him? Even be around your be a, bad self. Bitch, oh, pay. You're paying him and you're still trying. Bitch, you the one that got moved. Need to eat this food, motherfucker. Cause I know you're hungry, you hippo. What's his name? Who is this? I don't. I know who the fuck that is. How did the fuck this nigga outside? Now, once again, you could agree that Erica went too far in this clip. And despite the emotional breakdown by Sin Santana, Erica did not budge and also said Siri was only shedding alligator tears. Now, she felt it was emotional blackmailing and defended her reason for linking Joe Budden and Tahiri together. Now, Sin Santana seemed to care for her kid and the father of the baby, but Erica had other motives. At this point, Erica's feeling the way about Sin. I think we need to get to the root of the problem. I don't know what kind of history her and Sin have going on, but enough is enough. I'm good, how are you? Good. Before we go, can you guys say hi to each other? Hi. So you're you're playing Cupid with Tahiri and Joe. Look, you girls loved each other at some point. I feel crazy I not bringing it up. I, okay, but it's hold on. Not, though. So I don't, wait, I don't think about. So you're, I don't stop and be like, what's fe sin feeling? Um, can I just be clear on something? Son and my son, because my ex wanna put it, my ex with his ex. It's a whole messy thing. After you just crying and trying to make me be to uh, once again the big bad wolf. You've even been bragging about how happy you are. You guys broke up. You're acting like I'm supposed to have your back. Who's he single from, sis? Sin mother Santana. We all know that. We were in a very public. Some sort of tension. So, of course, my job. Tension as far as what? What's the tension? This. There, I, I'm fine. This is insane. I don't understand what the tension is. I don't believe that. I'm still unfazed. This Erica Dixon face-off against Scrappy and Bambi would always be elite. And a lot of lessons can be drawn from it. Now, the most important lesson displayed is to always be honest. Scrappy thought he could get away with the lie about being a reliable co-parent to Imani, but Erica Dixon had receipts to prove that he was defaulting on child support. Man, and calling Erica Dixon a basic baby mama was too much for Scrappy to say. Heartbreaking for us because I, for years, have tried to get Erica and Bambi to even just talk. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I just look at it like, for the children, for exactly. the kids, y'all have got to come to some type of medium. Up here claiming she with her, her baby daddy, everything all good and all that. Shawty, you ain't even seeing them. That's why we why can't you so see them. Why you so on what so, I got going because on? Because you're trying to fake the phone. Okay, Kirk, Rashida. Exactly. I know you guys are close with Scrappy. I know you're friends with Erica. April, April 19th, regular collection. What'd that say? February 2019. That mean I missed one month. No, we go, they go one back years. Month. years. You just yeah, said months. Years. She just said three months. We just go And only y'all know her. She <laughs> Always do this. Right. Right. She always Basic baby mama. She okay. always do this. Uh -huh. Enforcement actions to collect these okay. arrears. What's the date on that? June 12th, 2019. Thank you. That's our receipts, baby. I got you, but check this out. Oh. I need you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. June 5th. Okay, let's go back down. Here you go with the lies. Oh. You so angry. Oh. What is you got wrong? Me what? Let me That's tell you, okay. let me tell you, I got, okay. I, I got an app crazy. right here, Shawty, so whenever you're ready to go it's, it's and cool. say, he not it's paying cool. child support, I got my app right here. Right what here say, right. Just what they say, read the Notifications you have received, 10 notifications. DCSF records you. indicate that you are owed at least so three too. months in back child support. Sometimes, guess what? It? I don't be able to get any money. Sometimes so I, get, I get there, I get there, say, and hey, money not get even her. there. money not even there. This is crazy because I have to talk about this. Is how I'm getting the answer right now. I have to come to Love and Hip Hop on the stage and get an answer so she can lie. If you're sticking toward the, the the guidelines of your kid and you're not being disrespectful, I don't see no reason why you can't text and how I could take it out of context if we're talking about e money. All we doing is saying, hey, are you getting any money this weekend? It was funny, but. I said, I ain't gonna even let it anger me. It's about my daughter. 
That's all it's about. So, so first and foremost, he doesn't want to communicate. He told him I need to tell me to text him. Okay. And that's why I said if, if it's something quick that I need to talk to you about or say to you, like just pick up the phone. I'm talking about money with him. Yeah, when you text him, you text us. No, I don't. No, you actually I have a do. child by him. I don't have a child by you. Absolutely see, that's my not. issue. In my heart, I really do feel like you're upset. And I know that about what? About I, them being together? Listen, the last time we were on a reunion together, you went and you got a restraining order against Scrap. And then as soon as <laughs> me and Scrap broke up. Y'all was back, you know what I'm saying, in the same space. So we agreed that we weren't gonna film with her because we didn't want to embarrass Imani. And when she found this information out, she texted him and said, you a bitch ass. I know it was Imani's wish for, basically she wants everybody to get along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is the current status of you and Scrappy? Mm, we're, we're not. The biggest thing in a co-parenting relationship is to communicate. Even for Bambi, the first thing she said, wait. Anybody who's watched this show long enough knows the one thing Jocelyn Hernandez does not like is when people run their mouths and spread false tales about her. And in this case, it was Tommy who got apprehended. Although it started cool in Jocelyn's private space, the discussion went sideways and Tommy did all she could to at least lay a finger on Jocelyn. I've been really nice to Tommy. I try to bring you in my world. I even brought her in my bedroom. How dare you go around saying that I call a pump on you? Tommy really gonna learn what happens. Jocelyn's been messing with my head, pretending like she's my friend. If Jocelyn thinks I'm gonna sit back and take what she's dishing. What's going on with you? What's going on with you, honey? You invited me in. Okay. Why do you feel like I called the police on you? Jocelyn, the only person had my room number was you. He made the Guess call. They told me they needed a translator to yes. mother yes. translate your broken English, you bitch. If you I never called the police yes. on you, but now I will. Get out of here, I bitch. will call the police on you. See you in prison. Guess what, bitch? Two hoes could play the same game. This bitch is coming around trying to be a copycat of me. But guess what, bitch? You are a wannabe. You ain't nothing but a mother prostitute, bitch. Get this bitch out of here. That bitch is going you down. A, you, you ain't got no job, ho. Bitch. You ain't got no Bitch. Exactly, you garbage. Goodbye, bitch. Come on, girls, come back to work. When Ray J gifted his woman, Tiara, the whole club of love and hip-hop supporters had a lot to talk about. This is that clip where he gave her a bag. Ooh, you don't know how to act. You been scheming on the love to let you know. I mean, the crowd is rocking with me. My voice is right. Chop up the deuces. Thank you. I see everybody but Ray. Maybe he just slipped into the crowd to see what was going on. And... Hi. Is this from you? Yeah, it's from me. Love gifts with me. And I really thought hard and long about what I should get to her, and I really hope she likes it. And I know that doesn't seem like such a big deal, but I know what this bag represents. I know that this bag represents the way that he should have done things. Every time you've been there for me, from day one, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And if you don't ever want to talk to me again. Sierra called me out on Princess, and I didn't want to hear it. But she promised me that she would never talk about what we say in the bed to nobody. I'm here today, like, because at the end of the day, I didn't have to say what I said. I was just pushing. You don't have to say anything else. Real fans of the show are aware that Carly's one of those acts that keeps things interesting, especially the way she'd be dabbling in and out of relationships with every new season. But the most notable is her relationship with Benzino. Never trust Baby. a woman in a lumberjack shirt, I'm telling you. Giddy up, saddle up. And now he's about to give her the ring. <laughs> Somewhere down the line, I don't know, I just started to see this anger. Believe nothing you say. <laughs> Let me stop you there. When I'm in this house, and I'm cooking for your kids. I think Benzino has always had a control issue. I just did. What the f you want me to say? <laughs> How you answer with anger? <laughs> like, we gonna talk about a solution if you, if you don't even know like what the problem is? There's some other things. About what? I say I gotta go to the studio. I need you to trust me, babe, and know that I f with you. And I, and I appreciate that. I know you was up to no good, friend. I was definitely up to no good. <laughs> You never find out who the Jamaicans are? <laughs> <laughs> what the is going on? It's always been our top dream. It's tea time. What were you really doing? Tell the world. Everything. I had a girl. Scrappy and Erica had their differences over Diamond's pregnancy, but while Scrappy chose funny, Erica chose berserk. I have faith in you on Bam. I have faith. I have faith. I have... Yeah, you have faith in us, but you're on Bam, so I already did it. I can Way before you knew her, I feel like Erica's thinking of her own life and projecting it on Bam. I remember him glorifying her 
How can you say these things about a woman that we all know has been ride or die? I'm not a good husband either. Yes. Either you love her or you don't. I love her. Are you willing to save it or you not? Save That's it? it. No, nah, she shit. never did no white hair. What? Is that why you got diamond pregnant? First of all, you got to have sexual relations with somebody for the pregnancy to even happen. I would like to say I believe, but I know Scrappy is delusional. Erica, Erica. Listen, Erica, Erica, that's her side. I got my side, and I'm going to live with my shit. Believe it. Shakina finally apologized to Tierra during Shay's empowerment program, but in the Shakina way, she left Lyrica out of it. You were saying that you know you went through problems with people saying about your skin color. You should always feel comfortable in your skin. I promise you that there's gonna be a man who's gonna treat you like a flower as fragile as you should be. I can relate to what you've been through. I really wanna <laughs> with you, girl. Oh. I'm all for the empowerment of people in general. I let these girls do their thing. First, I want to apologize to you. Because I know you longer than anybody out here, and that's the truth. OK. Right? It's like, OK, cool. Let's move on. Let's be cool. Bro. I, <laughs> I love this. That was beautiful. Thank you, Shekinah. You, you know, I meant the shade. The first time Cayenne met Hennessy, a lot of love and hip hop fans gushed over their little moment. And this is it. It's so cold, so what are we gonna order? I want some macaroons. I want hot chocolate. Oh, this is Cayenne. Cayenne, Cayenne. Hennessy, 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 Cayenne. When I tell you, everybody on that trip was like going something crazy. Like, we got bigger things going on. Like, Hennessy's working on her clothing. She's styling me for all my stuff. There's so much what? going on. You styling her? Yes. I want to know every detail. Jacquay invites me out there. Right. OK, cool. We go. Then cause the most commotion that you've been telling me to stay away from. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you nothing. Get right. out my face. I'm here because of you. I, right. I'm on. Doop, doop, doop. I'm trying to get her. I right. can't get her. He waits till we get back home. And he going to tell me. He was in a bed with NIE. Personally, I would have never spoke to him ever again. Was She's he making valid points right his now. Friends. Are you not embarrassing me like that? Do you want to save your boy at all? I think you should give him a second chance. Then go ahead. Dream Doll tried to talk to Mariah Lynn about the drama between their friends and their professional relationship, but things quickly took a wild turn when they started taking shots at each other. Anyway, Doug told me to come and talk to you today okay. because your career is going to flop. Left my old job, came to your new job, took your new job. That's 15. No, my contract. Whatever it is, you don't pay it because you don't get booked. You're overlooked. Right. Oh, my mama, oh, wait, you just get booked. I originally said for us to do a record together. Collaboration. Grammy Mom. Don't even write your own music. I put you on, I could take you off. When Safari got along with Amara, Shay didn't like it one bit, and she ended up speaking her mind to Amara in this clip. Listen, I didn't want to bring this up while we were celebrating the baby, but. At my girl's birthday. But I did not see this coming. What the hell was that about? So the wow factor that the public got was the same wow factor I got. I'm happy if she's happy. It is about tone and delivery. Ooh. And you know what? He's been great to me. Where are we, by the way? Who and I are not the same type of friends that we were a couple of years ago. I haven't had a chance to call you to tell you about it. It doesn't mean that I have an issue with you. He said he's about to get a vasectomy. Why do you even care? I will confront Safari about this later. That's what right there. If he don't change his ways, he gonna hurt your feelings. Yo, what's Erica Mina look like when she's angry? <laughs> Check out this clip. Congratulations. Hi. You not coming between this first year. You need to stay where you at. What the f are you what talking, is she talking about? about? Cause it's me and her. <laughs> Damn well that you want this man. Who? You was just with him. He said you and him never break up. Girl, still this man. Like, he must say every time you see him. Oh, she not, just told not us that. award. I just did you piss on her. Erica, how you, you piss on her? Did you piss like this? Text phone? messages that I could show you right now of this man begging for me show back. Me. That's so <laughs> low. Now they understand that. I do. No, the <laughs> you don't, but you make everything a game to be as cordial as possible. But I'm still Erica Mena. If you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. Amora may come off as a woman with a bad taste in men, but this clip shows that she was right about MJ. Brother only loved his money and his numerous women, not her. I don't know what to say. What do you want? I'm just so over it. You really, really got up. You're 
wasn't trying to do a career out of talking about my pregnant. He got me pregnant and we're getting married. How about that? That's right. I didn't keep him. I that out of him. That's exactly what the I did. You see how you're caught up in my life? Still to this day, people reach out to me on social media. They give me a lot of insight. And you went crying to everybody. And you're like, oh my God, look what I'm gonna do to me. Why did she decide to do that interview? That I with Alan Ball, you know, you introduced me to him. You and I were not together. I'll still stick to it because it's the truth. Go return your rental and keep it pushing. Like I said, you crashed. None of this is resolved, and that's cool. Before he became a mere embarrassment to himself and Amara, MJ had always been predicted to be a selfish person. And in this clip featuring Amara and her mom, one of the most unique love and hip hop scenes emerged. Explain to him what happened that I night. I asked him night. never to discuss this with you. I'm your man. What's wrong? It didn't matter what your situation was. Have I not been a good man to you? Shut up. You know me better than anybody. No, I don't know. Is he working? What is his job? What is he doing? I promise you that he's not never gonna work. He's never gonna do anything. They'll still need to be paid. And, the, and you make sure that... What do you mean they're not getting paid? People see us happy. We happy. They're not gonna tell you all the on they end. All the things that you did for her that you do for me now. Man, I'm moving, man. And so the she told me all this that I already know. Okay. All right. All right, Hey, mucho cuidado. Tú me oíste a mí? I didn't do nothing. I hate the man. All I know is the hustle, grind, try to figure it out. Give me some napkins. Because I pour myself out everything I got. When they see somebody happy and see somebody doing good, she they just want to tear it down. She about you. Very, very bad. Very bad. Yo creo que es mejor que tú te vayas un rato. Tranquilízate, man, que te puedes subir la presión. Recuerda que todo pasa por una razón. I want to be with nobody but you. Nobody but you. Good times between Erica and Safari were good times that numerous fans voted it as a unique experience for everyone involved. While it eventually broke down, this memorable moment will perhaps remind you of such good times also. But the drama of that night only kicked off after a reminder of that awesome moment. So look, we got beer pong, we got jingle. How about the jingle? Jingle. Is it like my brother-in-law? It is. That's real serious. I already spoke to Holmes anyway. What you mean you already spoke to him? The only reason why she told me that she had another girl is because she was trying to hurt my feelings. Where are you going, sis? Come here, I want you to sit down, act civilized. What's, what's this? Hey, man, you already know what's going on. I already know what. You know what's happening? Is that his ex? Yo. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What you mean? What, what you talking about? But now I'm not so short, and I'm it's it's not. But it didn't end there, cause Shooter and his women took the fight to neutral ground, but security intervened on the brink. Jealous? Nah, I'm never jealous. Not like yum yum sauce. Nah, I ain't. Let's be clear. I don't care if Shooter smash your girls on the side. Because I ain't get a chance to let you say what you had to say. I'm going to let you go first. No distractions. That was your words, right? You ain't never said that. Of course, you never asked neither. I messed with this man for two years. Not one, but two. OK, I understand okay. that. I'm not asking how many years. The fact that Shooter has this bitch up here saying that she's been around his kids. You got me here arguing with this girl, and she should already know where I stand. Yes. Okay. You yes. need to be worried about why you was at my brother's house and you yeah. when you know what we, yeah. Yes, right, yeah. You don't know what the I do. You don't know what the I do. My problem was with Shula, but because this whole keep running her mother mouth and the way she smug about that open relationship, like that's something to brag about. We're supposed to keep it real with each other, right? You get missing four, five months here, me, hey, player, no distractions. Your position been filled, baby. Ladies, and what do I do? Being embarrassed, humiliated? I want it then. Sis, I want you it. You the car, let's go. <laughs> It's not all the time you get to see Carly in a fight with anyone, but in this clip, things went a little bit out of control. Alexis and Akbar visited Rashid's event, and Carly was also present. Once they were comfortable, both Alexis and Akbar went for the mission of the night. I'm back again. Home music thing was a phase. My main concern is my beautiful daughter, Alea. Go, Lele. 
Is it? <laughs> Hi, y'all. Uh... Why is she here? Did y'all get something to drink? No. What is you doing? What's she finna? She kicking her shoes out. Who's she trying to fight? She and all her people are messy, messy, messy. Y'all giving me a migraine. Get the off me. Get the off me. So this don't want to try me right now. We in Atlanta. We gotta this thing like this. Somebody better let her know this my We're trying to see how far can you throw the rosé. What I've been going through in my personal life lately has been tough enough. Y'all see how y'all spoil somebody's day, though. Ruin my 20-year anniversary party over some bullshit. I'm super pissed off right now.